Over a couple of blokes, have fun chatting all things motor racing. My name is Daniel. This is Ivan and Alex, and we're finally in the studio all together after a month of either yeah. just me or just you or just one of yeah, us with exactly. together. Exactly, we're back. Woo. Finally, how yeah. you been? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. What a weekend of racing! Wow, across Definitely. all categories, epic, absolutely epic. This is going to be one of the best shows of the, of the year. I, I couldn't agree more. Like oh. it was the best racing all weekend and all the different categories the, my opinion the best three in the world yes and um yeah let's get straight into them so keen so let's start off in that case with formula one fratelli d'italia oh you stopped i did that was a what a win. what a beautiful weekend not only the race win but a one two finish and also that Epic. was so strong in the sprint race as well mm. chef's kiss yeah um, unbelievable carlos was actually <laughs> Carlos was actually better in the sprint than uh, in the race, mm. but proved proved the pace was there for the whole weekend. And um, but yeah, Charles Leclerc dominated that race. I think Lewis Hamilton is licking his lips Ooh, for yeah. twenty twenty five. He's, he's, like, he's getting ready. He's, he's getting, getting ready. ready. That's getting why he crashed. Ready. That's why he binned it in the race. Yeah, he was like, yeah, screw my race. Watch. I want to. I want to give me the popcorn and I stuff just, like that. I just want to watch <laughs> my next year's car. Although I must admit, like, what could have been for him? Because the two guys just started last. We're in the points. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but overall, uh, the pace of, of Ferrari was, uh, very, very was spectacular. And I mean, qualifying once again, Formula One in 2024 is spectacular. So close. Three teams, uh, like two, three tenths uh, between, you know, the top five in quality, especially for the sprint qualifying. It was really close. Yeah, that was definitely uh, interesting session, that sprint one. Like, yeah. It was a very short time. And yeah, it's pretty weird but good albums 360 that was cool that was cool that was cool and was in track limits which is a talking point of the whole uh, <laughs> definitely a talking yeah, talking yeah, point yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh by the way have you seen the comparison between indycar at coda yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's like 30 meters outside the track indycar oh. there is no limits there is no limits. and formula one they go there with like a, a little no ruler and it's ah uh, look i mean Look, let's talk about track limits, okay? Yeah. And let's talk about this unique driving technique used by this particular driver, which means I will bomb you, and if you, you don't, and if you don't move out of the way, <laughs> it's your bad luck. I'm trying to think who you're possibly talking Is about. Is it Vax and Mustafa? It's It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Oh. Like, the guy literally must move out of the way. Look, to me... FIA, I think you made the wrong call. I think if somebody dive bombs to the in such an aggressive manner, the other driver has no no other choice. I think the worst part of it is is I'm assuming you're talking about the end. The yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, okay. yeah. Well, yeah. Well, does the FIA just not watch lap one? Because Max did the exact same thing to Lando on lap one, turn one. Yes. Yeah. The exact same thing. That's why and, everyone's saying and oh, cause nothing was said. Yeah. At all. Yeah. But then when it comes to, a, you know, a final decision, I mean, they can also have ride heights in their cars and be allowed to just claim it at the end of the year. Yes. Um, it, it's just, but in, in general, like the technique used by him, you know, to just dive bomb, no matter the consequences, and it's up to the other driver to avoid the collision from happening. Let the racing go on then. Mm. In MotoGP, we had in Moto2 that happened. So coming down Lukey Heights, mm. two riders made contact. They both went off track and the racing kept happening and then the guy ended up winning the race. But I think the difference there is there's no contact here because in F1, the car's fragile. Whereas if there was contact, then you'd know, yep, he hit me, good. Yeah, but then you run the risk of DNFing the whole race. Yeah. Well, if you let I Max mean, hit you... A bunch of drivers did that. Yeah. yeah, but if you let Max hit you, if you hit, if he hits your tyre, you're, yeah. you're out of the race mm -hmm. and he could potentially continue, which means Max wins anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just this whole thing. Like, I, I disagree. Put it in the comments what your opinion was of that particular incident. In my, opi in my opinion, Lando should have kept the position. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on the same page because of... It happened on the, it happened in turn one. Like, yeah. 
It happened straight away. Don't worry, even worry about the last bit. How it, good was Leclerc though at the beginning? Well, oh. I, I was just saying all these dive bombs help him. Yes. Um, but you know, I, I don't like the like every if if a driver does it at one point, check the rest of them mm. because it wasn't just those two. That every driver was doing it to everybody. Yeah, but we've got like Even, a highlights reel of Max doing this for the last ten years, you know. Yes. Yeah, also, of lap one, Max did it twice. He forced Lando off his turn one, mm. and then when Carlos dive bombed him at the end of the back straight, he went off. He did the IndyCar line mm. and just kept going. Yeah. So well, the FIA, I don't really mind the call. Just keep it consistent. That's yes. the biggest. That's issue. That's the worst. Part. That's the biggest. That's issue. the biggest issue for FIA. Yeah, yeah if Lando on. gives gets a five second penalty, then Max should deserve a five second penalty mm. for doing it twice. Mm. Minimum. You know what I mean? So, like, you, I mean, you can let it go lap one. There's 20 cars trying to get to turn one. Sure. Okay, but not the Carlos incident. What What do you think? Well, you kind of stole my word. Oh, Inconsistent. Um, that's yeah. the problem, right? It's fair enough. I understand why track limits are there, so you don't gain an advantage. And Lando, in a way, did gain an advantage. He did get ahead of Max at that moment. But that being said, he was force wide. And that's just simple racing. You know, if it was IndyCar or NASCAR, allow it. Just push on. Um, maybe if he did, you know, I think the the biggest turning point was the fact that he ended up ahead when he rejoined on the track. Yes, the, that's the big. That's the that's what caught their eyes. The problem is also the apex. That's who was first. The apex. It and is Max really was. Yeah. And Max was. But first. it doesn't matter no, if you're first to the apex twenty kilometers over. So you're still shoving someone. Yeah. Over you're still the shoving track. someone over. No, I agree. I agree. But, but that's what they were judging it on. Is the point I'm trying to make? Yeah. I'm saying and that's at, wrong. At a national level, like you know, this weekend we've got the race coming up. Um, you know, at one raceway, at a national level, if you do it you're going to get penalised for going into the apex, you know, 30 k's an hour faster. Yeah, mm. that's what they're not looking at. At the international level, it's not, yes, technically he was first to the apex. It's like the three of us, it's like the two of us right now mm. trying to get out this door, mm. but I just, you know, I just go in, just, fucking, bump, him. just bump him. and Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah uh, it just needs to be consistent. Wrong if, you're gonna, yeah. if you're going to make it wrong, keep it consistently wrong. That's mm. all I'm saying. Like in AFL, if there's a this is the wrong call, they give another wrong call later. Now the next question: <laughs> Should Lando have not taken the gamble and actually given the place back and then got it again? Yes. Yeah, that probably yeah. would have been smarter. Yeah, because he know. did have a four second gap crossing the line. Obviously, it wasn't enough, but he but he, he was able to extend that. Um, yeah. Well, what I'm saying is only four laps, and yeah. he got four seconds already. He would yeah. have had the pace to battle again. If he, gave, if he gave, if he 100%. just gave the position back, kept on racing, um, push on. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that at the start he he gave it away at the start. Mm. Like he did traditions. Move, he, <laughs> he did move over. Hang on, he did start on pole. Keep in mind. So yeah, well, yeah. Azerbaijan he kept it, or no, somewhere oh. else he did. Um, Singapore. Singapore, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, that was a Duke. One out of seven. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I think it's one out of eight now. Um, yeah, he did move over, and I was like, oh my god, he's going to hold it. And then Max just found the smallest gap possible. But he just, yeah, he didn't, yeah. Make, he didn't make the corner. Max Kamakasi Verstappen. The only driver who made the corner was in the lead. Yes, yeah. Charles. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> literally, he's, he was like, I know where this is going, yeah. I'm going to hold back. See you later, boys. And then no one ever saw no, him. He was again. gone. He was gone. He was gone, and I love to hear that. It's nice because every time Ferrari get the lead, it's like, all right, how am I going to keep it for? Yeah. And then you panic. But then they didn't even screw up a strategy, which was nice as well for That's a change. Cool. I know. Sure. And um, they, actually <laughs> used, they actually used strategy to get Carlos in second. No, but they hang use on. slick tyres on. on a slick track. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's also. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me that Ferrari yes. can yes. do a good strategy? Yes. Huh? And see what happens when they do. They come one two. Funny that. Yeah, this is this is quite concerning. Usually, if you're ahead, when you cross the line and ahead of everyone, you win. All they had to do was do a wheel box spin and just say, exactly. you first you win." Yeah, and that's the strategy. Yeah. Well, they, the strategy. <laughs> I found I found it a bit funny because um, you know the whole Red Bull drama that's been going on. The which one? There's about seven. Every. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me let me uh, <laughs> grab this giant which book. Yeah, which yeah. Book? Um, I don't even know at this point. Anyway, long story short, there was something about Park Ferme, right? Zach, Zach Brown was like, it's illegal to touch the cars when they're in Park Ferme. Right. Okay. Words of wisdom. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. That, that was it. That was oh, okay. it. That was just my right, example. I thought, was, I thought there was a point to that, but there's not. Yeah, okay. Well, what about... Sorry, this point. <laughs> now, moving on. Liam Lawson. Yes. Wow. 
Well done. Yeah. Where did he come from? To move up 19th. 50, yeah. To move up 51 places <laughs> after starting 60th. <laughs> Insane did you see job. The photo of the grids. Yeah, he's <laughs> down the first twentieth around the corner. He's in the final yeah, corner. 60th, yeah. yeah. But seriously though, uh, what a result! Very it's nice. very crucial given how the whole Perez seat is still on the table, especially with Mexico coming up. Uh, who yes. knows what happens after Mexico? Whether the rumours end up being true that he's gone um, or not, I don't know. But I, regardless, next year is where it's going to be. Heated. Well, there are words from Honda. So Honda want Yuki mm. to have a test drive in the in the Red Bull car. Now you've got Liam Lawson who's finished ahead of Yuki on debut. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the thing that interests me about that because I, I read that too, um, and I kind of debunk it at the same time because Honda's only got one more year as a powertrain unit. Yes, with, before with Ford. Before Ford, before Yuki's Ford come in by Honda. Right? Well, it's a Japanese Yuki, Yuki is Japanese Honda. brand. Yeah, I get Japanese that. Japanese driver. Yeah, I know. Um, but does that mean after Honda's gone, he's gone? And he's gone to Aston Martin? Like, what's the point? I don't know. What's the well, difference? We're not here? sure. But I don't think he will be going to Red Bull no matter what. Um, no. Even because it just doesn't make sense. If but he's Honda. The, he's the most deserved driver. He's been in the seat for, what, four or five years? He's Real also players. outperformed. I mean, he was outperforming Liam Lawson until this awesome drive that he mm. did the, in this particular race. But. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's just something about Yuki, because you got to understand, this second seat, the first seat is always going to be Max. Yeah. Max is the golden child. From a marketing perspective, Liam Lawson is more marketable than Yuki yes. for the team. Yes. If you looked at a poster and you saw Liam Lawson or you saw a tiny midget, you would go for Liam Lawson from being... No, no, let's, let's just call it what it is. Your market, marketability. I've been playing too much Gran Turismo, so he, he reminds me of a Daihatsu midget. <laughs> One of those oh little ones. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't in the script. Um, but... But, but the point is, uh, look, Liam, great drive. You know, I think he drove really, really well. Um, he's showing his worth. Even the Danny Ricardo. Fanatics, you know, clapped their hands and said, you know, well yeah, done, well, that that's a great drive. Well, I must admit, I think I said to you after mm. the sprint line without Liam Lawson change was a good idea, being sarcastic. Yes. Yeah. And then yep, no, all right. Well uh, that's the thing my head after the race. Qualifying and like throughout the weekend, Yuki was actually ahead of him the majority yes. of the time. Except for um I can't remember no, sprint race Yuki actually did alright. He was battling Checo. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, he was. and which which was cool to see. Checo almost crashed into I think Lawson and and an Aston, I think Alonso, uh, in the sprint, which is could have been embarrassing. Um, but uh, Lawson did really well in the race. Um, it was pure pace uh, compared to Yuki that got him the result, or was it strategy? Uh, Yuki did have a spin. I think I think it was a bit of both. Uh, he from was, based on comments, he was fast. Like uh, about lap what ten? I was mm. I was like glancing over the race, and I was like fighting for eleventh. Wow. Okay. And I was like, what? Where did this come Again, from? Starting sixtieth. Not bad. Yeah, um, well, like I think he followed Lewis a bit. Yeah, because Lewis made up seven, six spots mm. on lap one. I'm glad he didn't. He I I'm glad he didn't follow him. I think he was behind for him the rest of the race. race. I think he was right <laughs> behind him or one of the Williams. Uh, speaking of Williams, I got a shout out, Colin Pinto. He oh, deserves mate. a drive next year. I don't know where it's going to come from because they're very well, good seat. To it's very, cars. very interesting. There has been rumours that he could well and truly take maybe the Audi spot. no Lawson seat at V Carb. With oh, if, right. if one of those two are to pro be promoted to Red Bull, yeah, Colo Pinto would be a good fit for them. Very. He could oh, be on, he could be on, yeah, he could be on loan from Williams. Um, well, they've done that before. They've done it before. Albon's still, Albon, yeah. still on loan. <laughs> yeah, 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 actually. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, um, but he does deserve a seat because um, obviously Carlos Sainz is going to Williams next yeah, year, so his seat's very sorted. He deserves a seat, but there's only one left. Yeah, no. really. Unless Perez is out of Formula One, but it seems like Perez is out of Formula One. Oh, yeah. Let's face right, it, yeah. it's too late. It's most likely going to be the Red Bull seat because Bottas. The room it's still heavily rumored that he's going to be sticking around at least for next but season. See how they've know. delayed it. Yeah, it is, and there's a reason yeah. because at one point a couple of weeks ago they sang next week he'll be announced. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden it's they've disappeared. Been saying that since like Spa. Now you've got Mick Schumacher, who's uh, you know potentially. Gonna go and is racing in race champions, and you've got Col Sydney. you've got Colapinto, who's a potential candidate. You've got, um, yeah, the V team that you, you know could you, have. You think Colapinto's made everyone 
Everyone nervous? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of people. Maybe not nervous, but just making. Well, this if you think delay, about it, right? It. He is a F two rookie. Okay. Is he? He's he an F two rookie. Yeah. There you go. That's how so, little we know about this. Guy. And to his first time ever in a Formula One car around Baku, right? Scores points. Oh. And compared to Logan Sargent. Well, I was saying to you before we started. <laughs> you know, recording. Carlos Sainz is in danger. If he doesn't do well in twenty twenty five, you know that they could kick him out and pull Colapinto mm -hmm. back. Well. I'm just That's saying, Colo Pinto has done how many races? Four? Three? Four? Three? Something like that. He's already 18th in the About championship. About three or four. Yeah. He's already ahead of Ocon, uh, Joe Ahead Wayne of Perez. Perez. But, yeah. <laughs> that won't take long. <laughs> Although, actually speaking about, I was doing some maths. Where's Perez in the championship now? Perez is eighth. eighth oh, my third. God. And it gets better. He's oh 204 points behind Max. Oh, and they decided to keep him. Wow. There's Speaking like, so every sorry every top four team mm. has a driver either one position behind or mm. two. He's seven. He's making up for it. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of Max though, this is the first round since Austria. I think he's been able to. Oh, since the summer break, he's been able to actually gain points on yes. the championship. I think um, the upgrades are now good enough to keep the lead in the championship. It will be a yeah. technical failure. Plus to, a five second penalty. Oh, oh, Lando was quicker than him. He just got. Cannot. Yeah, True. but um, I mean the gap now to the Mercedes and to the um, the Ferraris. He can he can hold off. Yeah, he can finish second behind Lando or just finish behind Lando every race. It's possible for him to achieve that. True, but a DNF then yeah mm. then. Well, one thing that's not going their way is the constructors championship. Oh, Ferra that's done. Ferrari is no uh, Ferrari is now only four points behind them. It's finished. Ooh. They're finishing yeah. third. They, 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 they need yeah. to suffer for having Paris. Suffer. Hey, they had a choice. They had a chance to um, fix things at they the end did. of summer break. They did. You could put the guy from down the road, he would still finish uh, fifth in the championship. <laughs> That's it. That's why I also don't think Yuki will be there. He's not consistent enough. Um, in That's my a good point. Well, actually, question my who's opinion. Red Bull's reserve driver now? Liam Lawson. No, he can't be. Oh, right, right now? Right now. Oh, what's his name? The, the, the academy the driver. F2 driver. I think it could be him. Uh, the Japanese guy. No, no, no. Oh, I can't remember. Some guy, short, some guy from guy. F2? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy. That yeah. guy. But I think, I remember hearing Daniel Ricciardo was offered to be reserved, but he rejected He it. said no. Uh, why would you? Yeah. Also, can I just say... No, think, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why would you? You get to drive a Formula 1 car and get paid to do it? Yeah, but he's already done that. But he gets paid to watch Formula 1 cars. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I think he's now just... Left Red Bull fully stopped. He just wants to win the VA Supercars Championship. Let's face it, that's yeah. where it's at. And then that's go to, then go to NASCAR. That's what we want. That's what we and then want. go to IndyCar. Get the actually, put him in IndyCar. He'll win the championship. He will actually straight away. Yeah. Actually, serious chat. Where do you reckon he'll? What he will do next year if he does? He will take a year off. You reckon? Yeah. I could see him. Just, in he'll just chill in Perth. Yeah. He just come to Adelaide and join Slipstream Motorsport. Yeah. You well, heard it here first. There was an announcement from Supercars. <laughs> they're like Danny Rick. And then nothing happens. Yeah, it was an announcement. No, it's an no, announcement no. saying that they're going to reach out to him, but they haven't done it yet. Anyway, ah, we'll let's, see. Let's yeah. quickly go through the results because right. we're yes. coming up to time. Uh, Charles Leclerc was the victor. Leclerc. Carlos Sainz. Leclerc. <laughs> uh, Charles Leclerc. Leclerc. <laughs> Seriously though, Leclerc. Put, your head, put your volume down if you're in your car. Sorry. <laughs> Seriously though. After the bad luck he had since Monaco, and he's managed, I think he won. He won not too long ago as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to see him back on up. The, yeah, I'm happy to see him. That's right. Shirt. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This the, 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 one, 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 two Ferrari next year. Yeah, it well, can happen. He's the king of Texas. It happened today. It can happen again. That's true. Uh, Max Verstappen was third, confidentially, with Landon Norris fourth. Oscar Piastri in the most boring race of his life, fifth. Uh, George Russell, shout out, came from last. And he made up uh, 14 positions in the race. Very good. Uh, Perez is Perez in 7th. Uh, Hulkenberg was 8th. Uh, Liam Lawson 9th. Cole Pinto 10th. Magnussen was 11th. Gasly in the fake. McLaren was uh, 12th. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, Fernando Alonso was 13th. Yuki Sonoda 14th. Lance Stroll 15th. Uh, Albon 16th. Uh, Bottas 17th. Ocon 18th. Joe won you 19th and not finishing was Lewis. And speaking of Lewis, before we uh, finish the segment, this is the first weekend since he's raced at Coda that he's qualified outside 
Yeah. This is yeah. by far the worst character. This is horrible. I, I, I think the relationship is now so over. They need a new word for over. He just wants to be done. I just, I just want to go home. I also yeah. love how every time he makes a mistake, the camera's straight on into Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> so this is good for me. That's actually the same with Daniel Ricardo and Liam Wilson. Yeah. yeah. The exact same yeah. thing. Love it.